It's a pleasure to speak with you both. Mary, I thought Miyavi was so great in this film and you have such a great fight scene with him. I was so impressed, especially because it was two actors fighting. How was it like working with him? So great. I mean, he was so dedicated and he really didn't have a lot of time to rehearse because he was on tour. So he kind of had to come in and just like have a couple days, learn the fight and go straight into it. And I was amazed at how quickly he picked it up, his physicality and his intensity. And it was exciting for me to fight him because, because we hadn't had that time together. So it made it feel a little bit more real. Um, so it was kind of like the way that I feel about acting scenes. I like not having too much rehearsal and not having it, you know, go too like, like, oh, we've done this before, but I'd never done that before in a fight scene. That's a whole other level of danger involved. So I, when I think about it, I still get a little bit of like butterflies. It was, it was kind of scary, but really exciting. We, we hurt each other a little bit, but we, we made it out unscathed. <laughs> Miku, I'd love to know what it meant for you just to get, land this great role, but then also, you know, getting to film in Japan. It was absolutely amazing. I will be forever grateful that Cedric and Mary took a chance on me and gave me this opportunity. I had the best time. It was also so great filming in Japan. My mom's Japanese, so we got to visit family and they got to come to set, which was really nice. And we we're actually filming in an area where my mom grew up, so it was very sweet. Oh, that's amazing. Um, Mary, your, your character has such an interesting relationship with Woody Harrelson's character because he trained you and he's sort of like the closest thing you had to a family, but he's also this selfish manipulator and he set you down this life. Can you speak to, you know, working with Woody and that unique relationship that plays out in the film? Yeah, I mean, Woody's the, the best. He's exactly what you would hope he would be from watching all of his films. He's so laid back. He's so funny. He's He's such a character to kind of have around. And so he was a great, great energy. And, and also he's so easy to kind of bond with and to have a quick rapport with, which was really important, you know, for, for Kate and Beric to have that, to feel like there is something real there. Um, but I think it's really relatable, like a lot of parental figures, you know, you don't really know until you're older that you maybe had a bit of a toxic relationship with somebody growing up. So I think even though, you know, might not seem that easy to relate to someone who's an assassin, who's been trained to be an assassin since they were young, um, in a way, you know, a lot of us have been there with, with, you know, relationships that we've had to sort of break free from in our own way. Um, so I think I think you see that in the film, this sort of push and pull of this parental relationship that's maybe not, not so healthy. And then my last question here, Miku, I read that you wound up bonding with Mary by playing songs on a ukulele on set. I would love to hear more about this. Were you singing original compositions? Were they covers? What went on there? Um, we weren't making originals. We weren't that advanced. Uh, but yeah, one day I saw Mary bring a ukulele to set and I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know you could play. Like I can play too. So I brought my ukulele to set and then Cedric saw us playing. He was like, oh my gosh, I can play or something like that. And so between takes, we would just, um, search up covers to some songs and play them. And it was very nice to have that calm setting, uh, in all that chaos of the scene. So <laughs> I'm just imagining doling banjos, but with ukuleles now. I know. <laughs> no, it was very, much so, yeah. it was very like, she's, she's got such a lovely calming voice. It was very nice for me in between the stabbings and the shootings to you know, <laughs> sit with me and have a nice little quiet ukulele time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you both for your time today. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.